Hey everyone out there, this is Aaron with Kite Paddle Surf and today we're going to be looking at the brand new Liquid Force V3 Mission Control Bar. It just came out, we just got them into the shop so we're going to kind of go through it, kind of show you some of the new features they got going on it and I think you'll be pretty stoked on this new bar by Liquid Force. Uh, starting off, let's just start off up here at the trim cleat. Uh, everything up here is the same, real simple pull tab right here, let it out. Velcro comes with replaceable Velcro if you need to replace that if it wears out. Um, lines have not changed. They've gone with just a standard gray coloring on that. Uh, the PU tubing right here has changed. They've gone to a thinner diameter tube. And so what that does, it makes the tubing a lot more flexible, not quite as stiff and rigid as the other one. So um, probably gonna be a lot more comfortable, a lot more, um, just more maneuverable with the bar when you're out kiting. Uh, going out from there, the bar is the same, just change the color wave on it. Um, same adjustable uh, bar ends right here. Get in two bar sizes, um, a small and an irregular size. Uh, moving down here to the chicken loop, uh, we've gone there. They stuck with the same chicken loop system right here. Real simple, easily pull the tab right here. And then with this, um, the donkey stick right here that moves in and out if you want out of your way. Um, the chicken loop does come in two other sizes if you like to have uh, the small smaller one for waves. It has the metal plate on the inside so when it's sliding on the rope it's a little bit smoother action on the rope. And then of course a larger freestyle uh, chicken loop so if you're going to do a lot of unhooking it's easier to pop the chicken loop back into your spreader bar. Alright so this year they've added the high Y adjuster and uh, what you do is you take this um, piece that they've given you right here and you put it on your center lines. Um, they start off starting at 3 meter um, above your um, system right here and then at 6 meters and what that does is it brings your center lines closer together so it in, um, inverently adjusts the way that your kite flies in the air so when you slide it farther up it's going to give the kite a little bit less bar pressure and what it's also going to do to the turning arc or turning rays is it's actually going to speed it up so the farther you have it out it's going to turn faster so for wave kiting or maybe if you're starting to get into um, doing some kite loops and you don't want that terrifying torque big huge circle going around it's going to be a lot more forgiving that way so um, anyways really cool feature get a chance to get this on the water and uh, get back to you on our feedback on this so apart from that um, it's a great bar we're super excited about this year and uh, if you have any more questions on this give us a call here at the shop we can answer them for you all right thank you